guys how's it going welcome back to another one of my videos today we're going to be working on my 2006 mazda 6 as the weather's gotten colder um my transmission started to jerk around from first to second second to third the car shifts gears and then jerks um also when i press on the gas sometimes it takes a full second to then accelerate um other things is when it's really cold and you don't get, give the car two, three minutes to warm up and put it in drive, um, there's like a grinding noise and it's really scary. Um, sometimes when I'm going on steep hills, you can he smell the transmission, like smell it burning. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, but it's, it's really sad at the same time. So today we're going to be doing a video on how to fix this problem. It's a common problem I've seen on a lot of Mazda 6s. But there is a fix to it, and it's great. It's worked on a buddy of mine's car. I've already done it. I'm doing the video, this video after, and the car worked perfectly fine. Tools you're going to need for this, not a lot. I mean, all you're going to need is some automatic transmission fluid, and this is where we get into the picky stuff. You're going to need M5 equivalent. Now, M5 or MV does not stand for Mercom 5. A lot of people get those mixed up. Let's clear it. M5 is only made by Mazda themselves. That's it. The, if you go to AutoZone, they tell you, oh, this is the M5 you're looking for. Tell them no. It has the Mazda badge on them because no one but Mazda makes M5. It's that clear. Now, there are M5 compatible automatic transmission fluids. And the one I'll be using today, Mobile One synthetic automatic transmission fluid for multi-vehicle formula for GM's Ford's a lot of what did that say domestic and imported vehicles and what I'm going to be using is also uh, half a quart of Lucas automatic transmission fluid the stop slip stuff this is how it looks like if you go to AutoZone or wherever um, so that's the things you don't want to just put any transmission fluid in it think of automatic transmissions as that picky picky girlfriend who you could buy a yacht for and she would tell you oh you didn't get me a boat you know that's how trans automatic transmissions are they're very very picky you can get them the best stuff but they only want what what's recommended so um get that transmission get the lucas we're gonna drop the bolt uh, and we're gonna be replacing whatever comes out with um Lucas and we're going to be replacing it with that mobile one synthetic stuff um, to, uh, Give in mind that these transmissions hold I think about 8.6 quarts Obviously not 8.6 is going to come out Maybe a lot less than that because a torque converter and whatever's in the transmission doesn't come out So it's a very simple job um, Get those transmissions fluid stuff. I'll have a description of what they are below. All right guys time to get things started Here's the front of the car um, as you can see and we're going to just go underneath it. Yours is going to look the same, except you're not going to have this LED tape light. Um, I've got LEDs on the whole car, um, just for underglow at night. All you're going to need is a screwdriver, maybe, and a 10 millimeter. And I'm just going to show you a couple of points where you need to take off. You don't need to take off this skid plate, but you are going to take off this back skid plate. Um, splash guard, or whatever you want to call it. And you're just going to take off, there's just a couple of bolts in here a couple in the front and then a couple in the back that you're just going to take off um, and just drop this thing as you can see some on the sides too and just drop it it's very simple to take off just look for the bolts and take this off and then we'll continue from there because that's where the important part is all right guys so i got the pan off now all that we're going to do as you can see this is this is the exposed bottom of the car Got our engine right here, and if you were doing an oil change on this car, you would go, here's your filter, and there's your bolt. Just take that off, and that's how you empty your oil on this car, which I will have a video soon on how to do a good oil service on this car. But if you look here on this, that's again, this is where the bolt was for draining your oil. Here is the transmission pan, and here is your transmission. Here's the pan, and what American owners won't like is this thing right here. That's my bolt. 
Now some, if you have like a Mazda 3 for instance, I know your bolt's like on the back, you'll easily tell. Mine's not on the back because it's just flush. You could drop the pan, just take all these out. But look at this, there are some bolts that are in real stinker positions. I mean, I can't even get the camera to look at them. You re, I mean, look, this is the transmission pan. Look at this, there's a whole front arm right here for the car and it's hiding all the bolts. So I'm not even gonna bother with that. All I'm gonna do is, this is a hex key, I think that's what they call them, and it's a number eight, that's the size. Just put them in here and loosen this bolt um, and let the transmission fluid pour out. So now that I got my hex key on the pan, I'm just gonna crack it, obviously it's gonna be really tight on, so I'm just gonna get a hammer and tap it on right here just to give it enough torque and get that thing off probably worth mentioning now you should probably do this um, let the oil go down when the transmission is cold so I've waited a little bit and as you can see I'm just taking out the bolt and things are gonna get messy I'm trying to do this is gonna be at a weird angle and I'm gonna get myself messy so I gotta take a video so here we go make sure you got your catching pan and there we go. Look at that stuff's black. So how's that pink red? Alright, so I'm gonna continue letting it drain. After I let it drain for a bit, um, I'll come back and we'll get into the next part of the video. Alright, so uh, it's finished draining and I've got a decent amount in here. Probably a couple quarts I'd say. Maybe a little bit more. So right now I'm gonna return the plug I'm going to do everything that I just did, but in the reverse order. Return the plug, put the uh, skid plate or whatever you want to call it back on, clean up a little bit here because it started dripping onto this frame member. And I might not even put the skid plate back on. I might just put the bolt back on and then we're going to go back up and fill the stuff with Mobile One Synthetic Automatic Transmission Fluid. Synthetic is what you want. It works better in the cold, works better in the heat, works better in everything. Um, and we're going to be adding, I think I have like 75% of that Lucas oil. That should be more than enough. So let's go back up there and do that. Guys, okay, so I got the car lowered back down again. Um, I'm going to take out the dipstick. Obviously it's going to be near empty, probably not have anything on it. Take our funnel. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting some of this mobile one synthetic ATF multi vehicle look at that bright pink that is completely different than the color we were seeing coming out of that transmission um, but I know at least the court came out so I'm gonna put a court and then uh, that see how it's bright pink um, and then after I put a court in I'm gonna start the car run it through the gears and then keep adding because that's how you, sh you should be checking the fluid on this thing so what you should be doing is turning the car having it on a level surface um, and park and then checking the fluid because the fluid expands so you want to make sure that you don't have too much inside or else it'll expand it won't have enough room to expand you also don't want to have too little or else you won't you know lubricate the parts that need to be lubricated um, I'm excited to see how this works actually um, you know this is a big fix for a lot of these cars and this synthetic stuff should work obviously we didn't take out eight quarts you didn't flow out for very long um, I, that's why I'm guessing maybe one quart two quarts came out you when you take out the bolt you usually empty one-third maximum half because you don't get what's already in the transmission neither do you get what's in the torque converter you just get what's in the pan so that's the stuff we're changing right now um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start the car um, it's on a level surface it's in my garage um, so I'm gonna start the car let it warm up for a little bit and then we're gonna keep checking the level alright guys I have extremely good news filled it up back I used about a quart and a half of that mobile one stuff and a half a quart of that Lucas so about two quarts give or take um, and I, re I seriously took it out for a drive. First to second was so smooth, I didn't even feel it. Second to third still gave me a little bit of problems, but it was significantly lower. The best thing that I'm happy about, though, is the fact that I don't have any more um, lag or um, 
hesitation and acceleration, I would press on the gas and it would immediately go. So this definitely worked for me. I am so happy that this worked and I hope it works for all of you guys. This Mobile One stuff really does do magic and you know, I'm so glad this happened. What I might do is maybe after three, four thousand, I might do another flush or just a change, you know, cause then, then that fluid will thoroughly mix with the other fluid in there. Um, I don't know, I might just keep it because I'm really satisfied with the results right now. Um, I'll just go through a little recap what I did. Um, I got I got four quarts of Mobile One Multi uh, Vehicle Formula. This works on all Fords, GMs, domestic and imported cars. Very good stuff. This is expensive. It is synthetic. Make sure to get that. It's around $9.99 per bottle. Um, I also got, I had a uh, bottle of Lucas. Uh, first of all, what I did was I took out the bolt from the bottom, that's what we did. We emptied as much as that came out. I took out the pan, I obviously put some immediately in. I, I put one quart in immediately because I didn't want it to run really dry in there. And I know I took out more than a quart, so I just put a quart in there. Uh, saw that it was still missing, put some in kept taking it for drives. Now it runs extremely fine. I am looking forward to this car for to last me at least another two, three years, at least. Um, it's a 10 year old car, but it still has got the looks. The paint looks great. The interior is perfect. The engine is 137,000 miles, but you would never know. Um, so if you have any questions, um, please comment them below and I will make sure to respond to them as quick as possible. Thanks guys for watching.